afternoon guys, welcome to another video for Advanced In Car. So today, or this week, we've got this 2018 VW T6 in. It's a Caravelle, so it's got rear seats and all the air vents and lights at the top. That's how you uh, can differentiate between this particular model and a standard panel van. This particular customer has come all the way down from London, left us the vehicle, we've got it for the week, and we are doing a whole host of mods, retrofits, and upgrades to this van. So as we go through what we're doing this week, we can show you how we've done it, why we've done it, and the end result. So we're going to walk you through what we've been doing to this van all week and one of the big jobs was the front and rear factory Volkswagen optical parking sensors. So Richard's had the front bumper off and has fitted four factory sensors. This one has been particularly more difficult because of the fact that you've got the gloss panel, uh, the gloss black splitter. So therefore the front sensors have to be physically cut into these panels rather than just replaced because on the two sensors here these are replacement panels hidden behind the scenes but the two outer sensors have to be cut in and then exactly the same on the back of the van bumpers been off and we have got four color-coded flush Volkswagen sensors the cabling will then get routed from this particular bumper all the way up through along to the front of the van another buzzer audible buzzer installed and a parking sensor module wired into the can data or the data of the vehicle to allow for the optical display on the radio but of course in this particular vehicle we have done a complete audio upgrade as well which we're about to jump in and explain everything we've done but we still retained the optical display uh, on the new head unit the new radio which looks uber cool right we're going to jump in and show you what we've done Because we've done so many upgrades to this vehicle, thousands of pounds worth of upgrades, uh, I'm going to read off a list just to keep it simple because I don't want to forget anything. Uh, Richard has been working hard on this for three, nearly four days now and everything is done to the highest quality because this is the reason why we're so well regarded online. So just to run through a few basics, front and rear optical parking sensors, genuine Volkswagen cruise control. Flat bottom T6 multifunction steering wheel, brand new, would have been on here from factory, but the flat bottom with the white stitch. Uh, we have done stage one sound deadening in both the front doors. We've also upgraded the um, Alp to Alpine, um, the eight inch component speakers. So in the doors, bolted on, we've shown you a few videos before and also the super duper um, Alpine tweeters that are cut into the A pillar as well. We've done in the back, because it's a Caravelle, it comes with rear speakers, sound deadening on both sides. And we have fitted in there Alpine R-Type or Type R components, not coaxials, component speakers, which means they've got an independent crossover and a tweeter just to offer that full range sound. And it really does make a massive difference if you've got the budget. We've done an aftermarket, uh, aftermarket wedge reversing camera, which you'll see here. We just didn't show you at the back because I completely forgot. So here it is here, and we'll also show you it on the display on the Alpine in a minute as well. 
The customer wanted to team up the super duper new Alpine ILX F905D, which is the 9 inch 720p HD display wireless Apple CarPlay, wanted to pair it up or team it up with the Alpine front and rear dash camera. It's the DVR C320S. And this particular dash camera not only talks to each other, but then talks to the Alpine as well, so that you can change the settings, have a look at the front view, the rear view, and most importantly, check footage. Uh, and that's awesome because most of the time you have to connect to dash cameras through an app, and that makes it all so special. Um, we've also got the under seat eight inch Alpine subwoofer connected to the DSP six channel amplifier, which is gonna clean the speakers that we've put in and give you a much purer, better sound. And what we have both agreed now it's been set up correctly is that you've got a really nice, warm, full sound in here, which again, we say it all the time, but the transporters, whether it's a T5.1, T6, T6.1, they're seriously lacking. Volkswagen know this and it's a shame because that's why we do this because it goes from chalk to cheese uh, and it is absolutely fantastic. Uh, right, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna just run through the basics with the ignition on. I'm gonna jump on in and we're gonna just show you a few bits and pieces. Right, so we're gonna run through the basics of what we've done. Here is the beautiful VW original flat bottom T6 wheel. It has to be compatible with this van and this platform and this layout, which means that you've got the buttons on the left, which are up and down. Sorry, the dash cam's in the bit background talking. And this is brand spanking new, but we have utilized the customer's existing airbag. We've run the cabling in through and we've coded it. Now on the left-hand side here, we've got a brand new stalk. So this van turned up to us with a stalk with nothing on this left-hand side but on the right hand side had the trip facility. So we've replaced it with genuine stalk control. And then on the right hand side, we've removed the trip facility because now it's gonna be catered for through the multifunction steering wheel. Now this is genuine VW Cruise. It's quite involved to install, but we'll give the customer the seamless integration and of course, most importantly, the display up on the um, drive information system or the um, MFD multifunction display. Uh, let me just turn the fan down. So the steering wheel and the cruise, really important features in this particular van. And now we're gonna show you a bit about the audio side of things. Okay, now that Matt's changed camera angle, we wanna just talk about what we've done here for the audio side or the, the media side of things because we fitted um, the really cool and very popular ILX 905D. This is the super nine inch halo, 720p display, class D amplifier, front and rear camera capability, wireless Apple CarPlay. Um, it is absolutely fantastic. But what makes this special is that we've then teamed it up with the Alpine Adventure Audio tweeters on both um, A pillars. We've teamed it up with the component door speakers in the driver um, and passenger door. We've done the stage one sound deadening. Richard's also done the eight inch under seat subwoofer with the six channel DSP amplifier. You put all of those components together and you've got a really well-rounded system. Not to forget the Alpine Type R component speakers in the rear panels and also then with the sound deadening as well. Absolutely fantastic um, and just offers that whole full range audio experience. So when this customer drives home, this is gonna be absolutely awesome. Now just run through some of these features. We've not done many of these and when we have, we've not had time to then do video on it 
Uh, so this video is going to be a bit longer than usual, but then we've done an awful lot for this van. So the dash camera itself here, um, this will give you an idea of what you can see. So the front camera at the moment is showing you what we can just say, what we can see in the workshop. Now bearing in mind, we've got really, really good LED lighting in here, plus the van is inside, so you are going to get slight glare on there as well. And then how this um, system works from Alpine is that it shows your date and time, it's on continuous record, showing the voltage, which isn't accurate, obviously, because the battery wouldn't start, but also shows the rear camera. Now, this van is uh, a tailgate model with the factory bike rack. So you could say, what's the point of having the rear camera? But actual fact, this is better than having uh, no rear camera. You can see what's going on behind you. Uh, and it's really, for me, you know, you might as well have the front and rear camera because it's an awesome bit of kit. You can go into settings. So you can go in through the settings like stop recording. It's probably going to talk to you now, um, but you can go in and change some of the settings. If I was to be ultra critical, the um, the display, considering we're on a, a, an HD screen here, is not amazing. You've got in settings and you can go through all the bits and pieces that you can do and change without needing the app for this camera. But either way, great bit of kit and it does everything you need to do. Uh, reversing camera. So without putting it into reverse, but it will do that the same. There's the rear view camera. We've also got the parking sensors as well. So if I do that as well, I can just put the car into reverse and your parking sensors will come up on the display. And if Matt is on a wide angle, we can also get the genuine VW parking sensor button down here. That's illuminated because I've gone into reverse gear. So we can just turn that off. Now, if you wanted to, if you weren't in camera mode, like so, you can pop the car into reverse. You would get the option of having the reversing sensors as well as, so you can get rid of the camera. Um, you can have the guide on, like so, or you've got your, um, you've got your hitch if you've got a tow bar on there as well, which again can be adjusted. So let's turn that off, put the guides back on, pop it in and turn off the parking sensors. Now, we want to give that ultimate feel of uh, seamless integration with aftermarket equipment. That's the reason why we use um, Alpine equipment to go and coincide with what we've done with the front and rear sensors. Otherwise, it's pointless fitting them. But let's just turn that off like so. We just wanted to show you one of the extra features of this and we couldn't have done this before with one of the older Alpine models but this new range of ILXs so the 705 the 905 and the 115 featuring the 720p HD screen means that this finally has a decent part to play and that's the HDMI so this customer um, has asked us to remove the factory cigarette lighter on the top deck here and we've replaced it with the combined USB and HDMI um, socket. Now, it's not the neatest thing in the world, but we wanted to show you this uh, working so that you can just see the great features of this particular setup. So, excuse all the cables, um, but I'm just gonna plug in the um, HDMI. I'm also then gonna plug in the USB. So what we have done is we have wired up the Alpine so that both of these are functional through the Alpine. But on the other side over here, on the left-hand side of the dashboard, which is the factory USB, that then becomes the Apple CarPlay and the Android Auto wired. Um, so that we've got no flying leads in the vehicle. It all looks super cool. Now, for you to be able to get this functionality, you still need, if you're using an Apple, uh, an Apple AV to lightning device. HDMI goes in the bottom, lightning goes in, the, in there as well, and that will give you your AV in to your phone. So for this to work, we uh, must, for instance, we can't have Apple CarPlay working uh, alongside HDMI. It just simply won't work. So for us to plug this in into work, what you need it to do is you need to then disconnect your Apple CarPlay. So you can go into Apple CarPlay and you can go into device list and you can disconnect. As Soon as you disconnect like so, you can go out of here, you can hit HDMI, we can plug in Richard's phone here like so, and let's press play. Might take a quick second to uh, pop up. And once it does that, you've then got 
full screen video. Now, YouTube sometimes doesn't automatically play at full um, resolution. But now, this is one of our videos playing through the awesome video, uh, the awesome audio upgrades that we've done, full screen on this 720 panel. That is really exciting because now, although if you are parked up or off-road, you can use this facility to do so many things. So imagine if you had YouTube streaming on here or video or something or a film, or you could even have an Amazon Fire Stick, or you could be watching Netflix. Uh, of course, you shouldn't be doing that when you're driving, uh, but the whole point of this is that you can then have full screen at the front of the bus uh, or your vehicle and make the most of this unit and what it can do. Once you've done with your YouTube video, for you to get back into CarPlay, you're gonna to need to disconnect from your, um, uh, from your phone. You can disconnect your leads and get rid of them. They don't have to be situated on top of the dashboard here, but what you do need to do is you'll then need to go back into setup you need to go back into device list. It says it's connected, but for this to go back in and get reconnected, you hit the disconnect button, then you hit the connect button again, Apple CarPlay is ticked, you press OK, and that will then connect wirelessly um, back to your Apple CarPlay um, on this particular thing. Now this is Richard's phone's connected here. We can go out of here, Apple CarPlay is in, reconnected, and there we are, we're done. So this is again, we, we are so pleased that this device has um, got so many features and functions. We're gonna do another video soon just about the 720p panel and the HDMI out so that you can see the really the workings of it and see if you wanna get this fitted in your vehicle. So guys, we're done. It's been a busy week. Uh, it's pretty hot here this week as well, down here in Paul and Dorset. Uh, and we're really chuffed with the work we've done on this van. I say we, Richard's done most of it, but either way, we're a team and you get quality results from coming all the way down here. And this chap, this customer did his online research, wanted to spend his money with us and we've not let him down. He's gonna drive home with a fantastic setup. If you've got a vehicle like this, whether it's a van or a car, and you want some audio upgrades, some media upgrades, other techs and toys or factory features and functions, get in touch with us. Don't forget to like, subscribe, tell your friends, follow us on the socials and the website is www.advanced-incar.co.uk and as usual thanks for watching we love doing these videos